Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Harvester. I am your host, Euclidean Mine, and I'm joined once again by my co-host, Boo. Crickets? Yeah. Say hello, Boo. Oh. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm slow today. <laughs> it's all good. All right. So... We picked up some stuff from the evidence locker, you know, shoes, a gas can, a camera, sheriff's checkbook with damning evidence, and a note from Boyle to uh, the sheriff. And I guess Boyle's been paying the sheriff off. We also have a camera. Are you sure it wasn't the kookaburros and the llamas? It may have been the kookaburros, llamas, or commies. Those damn fucking goddamn Russian llamas and Chinese kookaburros. We do not hold any racial, just, you know, uh, indifference. It's all for the sake of comedy, so if you can't take a light heart in it, it's probably not a channel for you to be viewing. We okay. love all, every llama equally. We love every llama's ethnicity equally. Alright, so let's go back to our place and see if Jimmy can be found. It's full of junk mail, bills, and bake sale flyers. Where the hell can we find Jimmy? Hold on, let's see. Maybe he's down near the burned oh, building. Man. Down near what? The burned down newspaper building, because that's what he was complaining about. Yeah. Let's save real quick and go inside and have a chat with the family. Okay. Good. Oh, you're gonna get your butt whooped, kid. Suplex slam. I am tired of your stuff, and I'm gonna show you what's what. Oh, wow. This has gotten pretty violent. Yep. Get over to the boy! Can't you just use the arrow keys to get over to him? That's what I'm using. Mistakes were made. Oh! What devilish power protects you from my extra long shovel power? Okay, it's not happening today. I told you I'm busy, Steve. Why don't you talk to Hank or go next door and visit Stephanie or go get an early start on your new job? Oh, let's see the notes here. Is there anything? Anything I might want to talk about? Stop speaking nonsense, dear. No, she doesn't know about aliens. Don't forget to put. Oh, hold on. Let's see if we show her that burnt bake sale flyer. Stop wasting my time, young man. Okay. Hey, you need some of these? Stop wasting my time, young man. You're probably dried out anyways. Whoa. <laughs> Wrecked. Ow. Wrecked. I feel the burn from here. Who needs gasoline? All right. Set that woman ablaze. Blaze it. What? Damn it. 
Well, that didn't work. Okay. Well, that didn't Damn work. It. Well, that didn't work. Oh, he doesn't like that that you gave well, him that? that? That little turd. Big whoops, Steve. <laughs> oh, we finally hear him. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Hmm. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. Let's see. Big whoops, Steve. Nothing we can do here. Maybe there's something we can throw up? Damn it. Oh man. Damn it. Let's quickly save. We're gonna figure this out. We're definitely gonna figure this out. You can try to see if you can open the door with the screwdriver. I did use the screwdriver on the door. Oh, we never came to Pastorelli's in the last episode. So this is Pastorelli's. That's Mr. Swell and Mr. Parsons. Parsons, sort of a conspiracy theorist. And he hunts aliens. There's an alien right there that he killed. And Mr. Swell is just a small guy with a good worth of ethic. And Mr. Pastorelli, you know, long history at this barber shop. He has a fascination with his barber's pole. A fancy barber pole secured to the wall with straight slot screws. And we got a straight slot screwdriver. Well, okay. Well, that was by accident we came in here. And uh, he doesn't speak a lick of English, and he has this weird sheep. So, once again, we're going to save. Hopefully he does not notice as we do this. He summons the police. start the episode. We might want to reload. Well, let's go ahead and take a look. This is interesting. This is your Check first your arrest, Steve. You just remember, we've got a three strikes, you're out rule here in Harvest. But you keep your nose clean. You hear? No. That is what. So that's what happens when you break the law and harvest. You get tucked in the bed by the sheriff himself and he gives you a lovely kiss on your forehead. Okay. We... If that isn't a crime to turn, I don't know what isn't. I mean, how did you feel if you were like a cold-blooded killer and everything, and they brought you to prison, and the warden just gave you a kiss on your forehead? Don't you commit any more crimes now. Mwah. Good night. Yeah, you'd just be like, what the hell is going on? You take a picture of him? Hmm. 
maybe we give him some aura lube. Except for the cough of his occasional hair falling. Maybe the sheep has a bad cough. Give him some cough. Well, that didn't work. Yes, I see it. So what? Jim Bob, who was the high school star pitcher 20 years ago, hangs his aging leather jackets here when he comes in for a trim. Hmm. He said something about the alarm system. Thanks taking some of that siding off my hands, son. I'll cut you a nice price on it. The alarm system's hooked up to the water sprinkler. Stop running around now. Stop running around. Oh, come on. Stop running around now. Well, you talk to um, Jim Bob, not him. Nice to see you again. Parcel, I'm busy with this game. Pastorelli shelled out for an alarm system, all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. Dang idiot cross-wired it through the fire sprinkler, so now when the alarm goes off, it sets the sprinkler spray. Tarnation! Aliens looking for intelligent life ought to stay away from this shop, sure enough. Anytime, Steve. Yeah, um, his um, alarm is actually hooked up to his water sprinkler system. It's yeah, but how do we how do we activate that? Is there another part of the um, building you can go to? So we got caught killing? Did we load from the wrong spot? I think we may have. Yeah, we loaded from the wrong spot. Mistakes were made. Okay. Oh, there's another spot. See what we can do here. So I know from the post office. Because that's the back of his shop. station. 
Maybe some evidence would be enough to get this guy's attention. Actually, you know what? Let's let's go see uh, Stephanie. If Stephanie doesn't work, we'll check with the guys at the fire station with the burnt paper. Johnson residence. Who are the Johnsons? I forget about this. Ah, uh, nope, nope. Steve, it's good to talk to you, but if we're going to escape this wedding thing, you'd better start learning some things about Harvest. Come back. Right, let's just see if she wants any of this stuff. Well, that didn't work. Ah, let's say. Don't want to be giving her those and get in trouble. Okay. Are you making some kind of point? Are you making some... Take a look at these. The guest books to both the Wayward Hotel and the Mortuary. The names are identical. Steve, this is worse than I thought. Looks like out-of-towners don't live long in Harvest. And if we're really out-of-towners, as we suspect we are, Get us out of here, Steve, before it's too late. Take a look at these. The names are... And if we're really... Get... Okay, so she... Are you making some... She doesn't like that evidence. Are you making... I really don't need to see that. We both know there's something wrong with Harvest. I only want to escape. Okay. Maybe she wants to see. Damn it. Damn oh, it, man. Are you making some. I know what you can do. Huh. That meat voucher. Get it signed by your dad and give it to Mr. Possum. Oh. Let's see if he'll take it. Yes, yes, very nice. But do you have any meat? Oh. Hold on. We need the meat voucher signed and we need to bring him meat. Maybe he'll give us something useful. Let's see if we can slip it under the door at our house. Damn it. Oh man. Okay. I told you I'm... I 
father. He's in the other room. He decided to sleep in today. Now... I tried to open the door. It was locked. And I heard him moaning. Like he was in pain. Your father overdid it last night. Just leave him alone until I get some cat gut. Have a cookie? Stop speaking. Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Can't pick him to step up. Let's see if she'll give it to him. Stop wasting my time, you Maybe Hank will take it. Then what's the we can't like open the door? Is there anything? Ah, won't well, let me open the door. I can't get that off the roof. I mean, the shovel won't do it. That didn't work. Damn it. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. It's starting to look like pretty soon the lodge is going to be the only thing. So we're going to try the TV station. Now that's interesting. The ledger to the hotel matched the ledger to the mortuary. Huh. Looks like the checkout time at the Wayward Hotel is right away. Do not disturb sign notwithstanding. Thanks for the tip off, sport. I'll run it on tonight's broadcast. All right, sport. <laughs> this is your... to push it. So we're going to quickly save right here. Oh, now, Sport, this is really interesting. Boyle's done something wrong, otherwise the sheriff wouldn't be blackmailing him. But what? God, I'd love to nail him to the wall. Yeah, and don't forget about the sheriff. Dwayne is a blackmailer, after all. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I decided not to run with this story. What? But this is all the evidence you need for your newscast. Evidence of a blackmail situation. Canceled checks, a ledger. Sorry, sport. No can do. Matter of fact, I, I think I may have to shoot the sheriff a private little newscast about this. I know, I know. It may cause you some problems, but hey, let's do lunch, okay? My treat. Oh, now, Sport, this is really interesting. Boyle's done something wrong, otherwise the sheriff wouldn't be black. Yeah, and don't forget it. Oh. What? Sorry, Sport. 
No can do. What makes you think I give a shit about that? What makes you think? What makes you? Now that's interesting. The ledger to the hotel. Night is probably in on it. So we will give him the ledger. Now that's interesting. The ledger to the hotel matched the ledger to the mortuary. Let's go ahead and save him one. Don't hurry back. <laughs> <laughs> what? Certain that you find a you find a combination safe manual. Wall safe deluxe model H A R six one three two F X. Your combination is 04, 23, 71, 58. Oh, we took his head off. You cleave his head off? Yeah. Use the combination of the man who successfully opened the safe. Sam and the deed. You find the deed of the TV station. Ownership. Lance McKnight and Dwayne Dwayne are the official bearers of this deed be wholly recognized. Blah. Um, are people gonna know that he's dead? We might want to put that shovel away. Not sure that's something we wanted to do. Can't talk now. Bye bye. Now Sparky was the one that says he had something. What's that got to do with me? What do we do with a deed? Look at this. Fresh from the safe down at WHAR. I guess you killed McKnight to get this, huh? <laughs> okay. Let's play it your way for now. You're probably thinking this is evidence of my negligence. My failure to properly investigate the newspaper fire. 
maybe even complicity, since the newspaper and the TV station were rivals. Well, I'm glad to hear it. In that case, you'll return my property, right? Steve, when you blackmail someone, you never bring the originals along. If you do, your target can take them away. And then where are you? I made copies. I doubt it. Or you'd have brought them along. No, Steve. I think I'll just have to take that risk. Oh! I could have made copies! Crap! Crap, crap, crap! Oh, man. Learn from your mistakes. Okay, so here's the question. Boo. Yeah. Should I kill him now, or should I visit the lodge? Should I visit the lodge before I start murdering people? Yeah, visit the lodge and see what happens. Okay. So we know that if we murder McKnight, we'll get the combination, we'll get the deed, everything will be hokey pokey there. And then we, we make copies, we can blackmail the sheriff. Alright. So this is where we save. The Lodge begins. Alright everybody, sorry to leave you on a cliffhanger, but that wraps up this episode of Harvester. Thank you for joining. I'm your host Euclidean Mine, and my co-host is Boo. <laughs> Say goodbye, Boo. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye.